Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will take you through the answers to the find and make number bonds worksheet and we'll talk you through some of the tricky bits. In this video, I will take you through the answers to the find and make number bonds worksheet. So let's start with question one. Use the bead string to complete the number bond below. So we have a calculation shown here using our bead string. We've got one part and then another part. So let's count our two parts to find out our whole, how many we have all together. One, two, three beads. One, two, three, four beads. I've got three and four. And all together, I've got three, four, five, six, seven beads in total. Now for the second part of the question. Use what you know to complete this calculation here. So, one of the parts has been filled. It's 14, which is 10 more than 4. A 10 has been added to the 4 here to make 14. So that means that a 10 should be added to the end number. We had 7, but if we add a 10, it would be 17. A 10 has been added to one of the parts and a 10 has been added to the end number. That means that the first digit will stay the same. 3 add 14 equals 17. Question 2. Using the number bond below, fill in the missing numbers. So, we've got our first part, which is a number shown on a bead string, and it's 4. 4 plus 6 equals 10. And we've got the same thing here. Something plus something equals 20. They've added a 10 to the whole number, to the end number. That means that we need to add 10 to one of the digits in the parts. We could add it to the 4 or we could add it to the 6. If we added it to the 4, it would be 14 add 6 equals 20. Or we could have 4 add 16 equals 20. Question 3. Alfie thinks the missing number is 19. Is he correct? Well, we've got 16 and I'm going to count on from 16. We're adding 2 to it. 16, 17, 18. So the end number would be 18. He thinks that the end number is 19. So no, he is incorrect. Question 4. Match the number bonds that make 14. Now, to make this easier, I've got 14 counters here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Because if I'm finding the number bonds, remember, number bonds are two numbers that are added together to make a number, and our number's 14. And here we've got some numbers that can be matched up to make pairs of number bonds. So, I'm going to split them up using the numbers given down the side to find out what the other part would be, what the bond would be to make 14. So, this first one up here is 7. So, if I move across 7 counters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That leaves me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 and 7 make 14. And I've matched up a pair. Okay. Now we've got 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That leaves me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 and 6, which is this one here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 and 6 make 14. And then we've got 9, well I know I've got 8 here, so if I move one across it would be 9, and that leaves me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9 and 5, which leaves me with 10 and 4. And I've matched them all up to make my number bonds to 14. Let's do the next question. Find three ways of completing the part whole model. Again, I'm going to count out 16 and split this up in different ways. So to make it easy, I'm going to use base 10 for myself. You could draw these or you could count out 16 counters. But I've created 16 with my base 10, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can split it up in different ways to make bonds that make 16. So, first of all, I might want to split it up into tens and ones. If I move my ten up here and my ones down here, I'll have ten and six. Ten and six make 16. I might split it up in another way, then I might just put three ones up there. 
Then I have three and 13. Three and 13 also makes 16. Let's do one more then. I might just put one up there. So I'd have one and 15. One and 15 makes 16. Now I could break this up into my 10 individual ones and find lots of different ways. I could draw it and I could count it out using counters as well. There's lots of ways and there's lots of different answers for this question. Use the digit cards to complete the calculation. So let's try putting some of the digit cards into these calculations. So let's have a look at the first one. Six plus something equals 18. Well, I will need one of the larger digit cards because I'm making 18, which is a large number. So it's probably going to be 12 or 13. So let's count on, let's start with 12 and I'll count on six and see if that gets me to 18. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It does. So I can get put 12 in there and I've used one of my digit cards already. Now, 12 is the missing number here and I can see how this might link to my last calculation because the digits are similar. The whole has had the 10 removed. I had 18 and it's gone to 8 so 10 has been taken away and this part here has had the 10 removed. 12 has had the 10 removed to 2 so that must mean that my remaining number is 6. 2 plus 6 equals 8. That leaves me with 2 and 13. And again, it looks like these calculations might be linked. I know that 2 add 3 equals 5 because I know my number 1 is to 10. Okay, so in the calculation above then, a 10 has been added to the whole number. Now, I've got my 2 and I've got my 2. A 10 has not been added there, which means that a 10 needs to be added here. 13. Okay, the final question then. Is Freya correct? Explain how you know. I know 6 plus 4 equals 10, so 16 plus 3 equals 20. Well, she's trying to use her bonds to 10 to find her bonds to 20, isn't she? So she's added a 10 to her whole number to make 20. And she's added a 10 to the 6 to make 16. But her other digit has changed. She's put 3 and instead it's four. So if I wanted to draw that out to check, it would be 16. So I'm going to draw my 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. 16 add four equals 20. Let's see if it's right. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It is. So her calculation should be 16 add four equals 20. That was an answer video for the find and make number ones worksheet. If you want to watch a video tutorial linked to this skill, visit kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. For more resources linked to this step, visit classroomsecrets.co.uk.